I'm Clemens from Insider Navigation. Today, I want to present you the most advanced large-scale AI platform. Sounds a little bit complicated. It isn't, and um, we'll show you in detail on the next slide um, why that's so important for Industry 4.0. And um, yeah, AI in that case, not just the innovative part, but just helps you um, to save a lot of money and speed up your digitalization. Let me just quickly tell you why we are good and what we are doing. So I'm into AR since more than 15 years already uh, on my side. We started that journey here uh, already in 2012 as a research project together with the Technical University and the Austrian Institute of Technology. And after two years of research founded in 2014 inside the navigation center, we realized that something big, but it still needs a lot of uh, development. Um, we are selling our platform now uh, through 28 partners um, from New Zealand, uh, Singapore, Middle East, uh, Europe, of course, to Mexico, Brazil, and the US. And right now we're having more than 40 customers in more than 20 uh, countries. Yeah. And uh, in general, our focus is to make venues interactive, connect uh, people and data in the physical venue with each other and improve processes by this um, for maintenance, defect management, intralogistics and so on. But I'll show you more in detail on the next slide. So in general, what is the platform doing uh, on a meta level? Yeah, and why is uh, large scale AI so important for you? In general, the big advantage is compared to other technologies in that area that we not only through augmented reality can identify where you are within X, Y, and C in any kind of when you indoor and outdoor, but within uh, an inch, we exactly know where you are, where you're looking at the rotation, uh, the angle, and so on. And this is important, as you can see here, not only to guide you from one level to the next, but it is also important because we can project any kind of information on the right spot. Here in this case, it's a maintenance information, for instance, um, that can come uh, through our system, but also out of IBM Maximo or SAP. And it not only helps that um, the person who should do an inspection uh, just uh, gets all the information on the right spot, but it also helps to, you know, navigate through all the data that is available normally uh, within your manufacturing environment. And it also helps you not to navigate the people because a lot of people also know where are certain spots, uh, but it enables you to be compliant and ensure that the people that are doing your work are actually on the right spot with the right information. And by this help to improve the downtime, improve productivity and so on. Um, why is uh, large-scale AR um, such a big benefit for a lot of companies? The most important thing is that the implementation is very easy and quick. So it's nothing complicated or what you've seen before. It's a nice thing for a pilot, but this is something up and running. And it can be integrated into any kind of when you within a matter of days. So it's not months or years or weeks. So it's really two or three days, like I'll show you a video later on where you can see that it was done in two days. The nice thing is you just need a 2D floor plan. We measure then the building uh, together with markers that you will see later on in the building. There's a backend where you very easily can, um, that you very easily can set up on premise or on any kind of cloud. We supporting Azure, AWS, Google and um, Oracle, it doesn't really matter. And the solution runs in any kind of operating system, iOS, Android, Windows, Linux. Um, right now, mostly it's used uh, on handheld devices or on tablets. But of course, in future, when you have classes which really can perform AR and not only uh, give you a system there in front of your eye, um, that we are supporting this as well, because um, most of the tech is uh, running on a web overview and uh, it only runs in a native app so that we have that um, quick uh, that quick video feed. Um, why is uh, augmented reality such a benefit? Um, we're just working together with a client, for instance, that compared uh, AR to other technologies for positioning of forklift. You'll see later on also a video. The advantage on our side is that we don't need any kind of hardware, GPS, Wi-Fi, 
uh, you can implement it in, as mentioned before, in a matter of days. You have very little capex cost, so it's only maybe 400,000 square meter, something like 10,000, 20,000 uh, euro or dollars. And you have an extremely stable tracking uh, compared to satellites, which have a uh, very poor indoor coverage. We have a high battery drainage. We, we are much uh, easier on that side. And apart from that, compared to Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, or of course, there's also ultra wideband for tracking. This all implies a lot of expensive hardware that you need to implement into your building, and especially when you have sensitive production lines, um, the radiation might interfere with your production. Uh, and also, when we're talking about a very specific use case, like tracking of forklifts, you also could use LiDAR sensor, but then you still need to invest around uh, 20 times more than what you have to invest into our solution just for the hardware of tracking of forklift with no additional value, as you will see it uh, on the next slides. Um, now, this was quite generic and on a meta level, I want to show you um, some specific use cases we already developed. But the nice thing is you know only depend on these use cases like maintenance and effect management or logistics, as I will show you afterwards. But you're able to, when you once integrated the solution, you can make any use case uh, on top of it. So we are now having, for instance, clients using the maintenance solution and they connect this to their PLC controller so that when they are going through the factory, they see in real time on the right machine, the real time data. But starting with the first solution that we developed, and you can see it a little bit like um, an app store on top of our platform, is the maintenance solution, because that's something that's used everywhere. It now runs in Hong Kong, Dubai, Mexico, and so on. And what we are doing here is, as you can see, outside or afterwards inside, um, we are in general uh, can very easily support the maintenance processes that they are done, that you see the status in real time, or that you can uh, report any kind of defects, and there's an easy tracking process behind it um, to get rid of this. And by this, of course, you improve the performance of the property, you improve the performance of the production, but I'll show you later some figures in detail. Um, first of all, if you want to do maintenance, it's not only important to understand where is your engineer who is performing the task, but of course you also need to understand where the assets that you need to perform the task. So there are two options. Yeah, If you're quite analog and you have an old venue, um, just go through the building once, as you can see it in the picture on the right hand side here. You look at the object and say, here's this object, and we know within one to five centimeters or an inch where exactly is the valve, where's the fire extinguisher, where's the pump that you need to check. Or if you have a digital twin, we can get that assets directly into the backend. Um, if you have existing maintenance solutions, like um, as mentioned before, IBM Maximo, we can make an API and uh, directly get all the assets from uh, your system, and we're just adding the exact XYZ coordinates to it. And then the nice thing is that um, the backend running on top of our platform for maintenance, it's very easy to use. As mentioned, we've set up for whole production line. Uh, everything within two to three days. So you just uh, um, add the checklists. You can change them all the time. You see a preview of the checklist when you're already making them at the back end. How will it look like for the engineer? You then can make routes and say, OK, this engineer is allowed to make this and this checklist. This, uh, this route has to be done uh, at 10 PM, at uh, 2 AM, at 7 AM. It has to be done monthly, weekly. Uh, only three persons are allowed to do it. Uh, this and this objects has to be checked, and these objects have different checklists. Since you check something different, for instance, on a fire extinguisher, then you're checking on a valve. So that's very, very easy to set up and very easy to adapt. And then the nice thing is, as we've got the feedback from our clients, it's also a very easy tool to be used. Yeah? So that. Uh, it doesn't matter if there is a young engineer or a senior engineer, a new one that just started uh, at the same day. You just give them the mobile device uh, and they're guided from one step to the next one. They see what they need to check. They can directly uh, enter the report. And when they finish the route, the whole reporting is already done and sent to the backend. And you can see then in real time uh, the status of it. And uh, as mentioned before, you directly see every single input from the different technicians you have an analytics page you can even see uh, how much time does it take someone to perform 
the maintenance routine and how much time does it take him for walking. So you also can see that you are training certain people and say, hey, slow down. It's not about being quick, but of course about doing the right quality so that your asset performs the right way. And um, in, in using based on the requirements from the different industries is all the defect management and defect locking. So if not only an engineer, but anybody in a production line or in a building sees an issue, he directly can point his smartphone on that issue and say, look, here is a certain problem. Uh, you can take the picture, you can add the, automatically the location through our system, and you can add a description. You immediately open up a ticket and not like we have a lot of colleagues um, or clients uh, having WhatsApp groups here, there's a problem, who can solve it, or sending an email to five people and you don't know who will perform the task in that case. All the engineers responsible for that problem will get a notification. One of them has to accept it, so you know when was the ticket open, who took it over. The person who is taking it over sees the picture, the location, he knows what to take with him. Is directly guided to the problem. He doesn't have to look for it. He will have uh, the right hardware with him to perform his task. And of course, the great uh, added value is also that you have a real-time overview about the open issues. And you can go through the building. And in AI, you see here's a here was an open issue. Here was an open issue. Ah oh, no, it's closed. It was open at 2 p.m. Closed at uh, 3 p.m. And you can visually control, of course. Ah, uh, now the problem is really solved. Um, and as we have seen, uh, only for this client here uh, uh, in the North America, we could improve the uh, the production by more than six million dollars. And here you see only a very small video showing this use case. So this is only a very small part. The whole um, yeah platform was rolled out through the whole factory, but you see that only when you are in that green circle and you are arriving at the place where you need to do the maintenance, you can open the inspection list. It tells you what you have to check, but it not only tells you what to check, but you also can see a picture and say, look, the left, this is how it should be, the right, this is how it should not be, <laughs> as you can see in the picture. Um, and this, uh, as mentioned, is not only on the small environment, but it really is a large scale. So you can walk uh, through the whole factory and have the same uh, tasks to perform. And as mentioned, you see different items, different checklists, different pictures telling you what you have to control. Another solution, just to show you what is possible with large scale AI, is uh, tracking of intro logistics, as mentioned at the beginning. The issue that we have seen is from our clients, like the one that you see here. They have uh, around 10 million square feet uh, of factory size only in one factory, and they have more than 300 factories. They have 550 forklifters and five different brands, uh, like Steel, Jungheinrich, and so on. Uh, if you want to track them, you can buy a solution from all of the different vendors, but it will cost you millions. Um, you can use um, a hardware solution to track this, as mentioned at the beginning, ultra wide band LiDAR, but it will cost you a lot of hardware that you need to implement in the building or on the um, device itself. With our solution, you only have very little investment to measure the building, uh, as mentioned at the beginning, in a few days, and then we can track everything for you. The nice thing is you only have a small hardware box here, which is industry proven. So during the last year together with our client, we developed that box and you just put it on the device. You connect it with a 12 volt battery. If you have a new forklift, it's 240 volts. You just put a converter in between and we have three sensors, which are also measuring if the device is moving, what's the height of the fork. So you really can control uh, everything very easily and it can be mounted within 10 minutes. The nice thing is then you can use our backend where you see in real time the forklifts, getting spaghetti diagrams, um, collision warnings, or so on. Or via the API, we can send you a live update all the time to your ERP WMS system or whatever you're using uh, with the position of your forklift so that you easily can get vehicle analysis, process analysis, warehouse analysis. So in general, you can track and trace everything that is important up to, of course, safety, uh, impact damage control, uh, geofencing, collision warnings before they are colliding into each other. Of course, 
this uh, implies that you have a, um, a, a strong Wi-Fi connection or 5G. But of course, if you're not having this, you still can use the solution. Zoom mein Bildschirm wieder. And of course. You can see here, um, you can also not only track everything, but you also can, of course, uh, optimize the routes. Uh, so uh, what we realized in the first steps is that only by tracking the productivity and understanding the usage of the forklift, we really could help uh, our client to save 30% of the intro logistic costs. Talking about 550 forklifts, uh, one forklift uh, uh, normally is around 40,000 just for leasing, oil, gas, service, and three shifts, uh, which is depending on the country, I guess between 60,000 to $200,000. It's quite a lot of savings. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, we're only having the video from the first pilot. So you've seen in the first pictures, this is already um, a very professional solution and not that pilot solution anymore, as you can see it here. Um, and uh, this input on the smartphone just shows you also the accuracy of the movement of the fork. And as you can see here, I mean, the forklifts are really driving at normal speed and we can track them in real time. And as mentioned before, the big advantage is that you have very little costs compared to all the other technologies. And once the system is integrated, you can use the logistic solution. And at the same time, for instance, you can use the large scale AR platform uh, to perform maintenance, to uh, use it for life factory monitoring um, or new projects also for education that you can place any kind of information on a machine like making a video of a senior guy how to replace a filter showing you how much spare parts are there for this machine for this filter and so on so it really helps you to merge the physical venue and the data that you're having and the processes uh, to become more efficient um, reduce errors save money and better perform so thank you very much for taking your time i hope it was very interesting and yeah if you're interested just get in contact with us and um, it's very easy and quickly that we can perform a live demo for you thank you very much